Alrighty guys, as they can bring it to another Dragon Ball Legends T.O.P. walkthrough video. This is going to be part two of two for the standard edition. If you guys are looking for the pocket, that will be linked in the description down below. Just a quick little update on where we're at with the Gohan right now. He is sitting at Zenkai level six and he's at friendship rank eight. So he's pretty much done. All right, so for the first fight, we're coming off of the prior boss fight is the Sreefa stage to the left of us. It is going to be against the Shallot stage. All right, so this is the team formation we're rocking with right here. Boot tanks with that super attack. We're bringing in both of our greens, but if we're gonna bring in both of our greens, we're also bringing in our yellow right here to kind of just back them up a little bit. So the only thing you have to remember with this fight <clears throat> is if you're using boot tanks or someone that's gonna super attack right off rip, this guy does have a cover change for the purple Kefla, right? So if you super attack um, the Kefla first, then that blue Goku is going to come in and cover rescue for them, right? So we're going to go for the Vegeta first, then we'll go for the Goku, then we'll go for the Kefla, and then Shala, and you can save the last two blues for the end. All right, so do keep in mind that is a three foot stage. You guys shouldn't have any issues with that whatsoever, especially since Shallot is on their roster, 1.3 million. That's pretty good. All right, so next is our 15th win streak bonus. This is one of those big boy fights. Remember, so four fifth stage right ahead of us. This is an extremely easy fight, an extremely welcome fight. All right, so this is the team formation we are going to be using for this fight specifically. We're going to give Boothanks this key resource speed tile instead of the usual yellow tile that way he can go ahead and attack first with his super attack this guy's going to be getting the super attack tile just because of the fact that he does have his full-blown super attack right here at 99 percent and so we'll go ahead and buff that damage a wee bit all right so first unit i'm going for here is this this trunks right here since he does have a buff against regen and then we'll go for the cell the green one the purple one and then we'll go for kefla and then we can save the reds for the end Another really easy fight right there. Even if it was at the five fist difficulty, you have nothing to worry about. Three million is pretty good. All right, so next is to the left of us, four fist stage. It is against God Key. All right, so this is what we're going to be using right here. I know that there's multiple yellows, but there's also two blues, right? So we're not going to bring in double greens, but we'll bring in a singular green with this cell. I remember the reason why I'm bringing in the cell over the Gohan is just because a difference between S tier and the Gohan is in B tier, right? Or, well, let me take off the powerful opponent tag, and you can see that he's in B tier right here. All right, since purples are looking kind of scary right here, let's focus on down a little bit. We have to take out Whis first because he was done on turn two, but then after him, we will go after um, this purple support Goku, this red Goku, the Vegeta, and then we can save the blues for last, starting off with the Goku. All right, I would say another easy fight. They can do a good amount of damage, right? But it's okay. You guys should be fine. 4.5 million. We got the full kill. We are doing pretty good. We also have some super attacks built up. And so next is the three fifth stage to the right of us. It is against that same stage that we encountered just a couple fights ago. All right, so this is the team formation we're going to be using right here. I'm pretty sure this is the same one that we used on that 15th win streak fight. Um, Boot tanks with a special move tile. You know, thinking about it, I actually think it would be better to do this. All right, just because that cell, he does have the um, the debuffs every round. And then we go for this guy, the green Kefla, and then we go for the reds at the end. All right, so that actually worked out pretty good. I would say you could even go for the cell and double greens before taking out that regeneration um, trunks. I call him regeneration trunks just because he has the buff against regen. Um, but 4.1 million off a of 3 fifth stage, I, I think that's solid. All right, so next is 5 fifth stage to the right. It is against the Super Saiyan 3 squad. All right, so this is the team formation we're going to be using right here. Boo Tanks is actually going to, or not Boo Tanks, Boo Han is going to get the special move tile because he's at 97%. Remember, you do get 3%. Uh, at the start of the turn right or it's three percent or four percent i can never remember which one but it's one of those two either way he's getting that super attack he's going to go ahead and build it up to um well he's just going to get some extra damage off of the being right there and since he does attack earlier than the boot tanks i think that's going to be worth it plus this guy's going to be buffing the boot tanks anyways so it all evens out all right so this is unfortunately an rng fight so whatever you plan out here might not go according to plan just because that blue kid goku he stuns you turn one nothing you can do about it right but in an ideal world i super attack this guy with my buhan right and then we could super attack this guy with my boo tanks and then we can go for this guy remember the yellow and the purple have both have buffs against regeneration that's why they're in the first three targets targeted and then we can go for the shallot the kid goku and then the super saiyan 3 legends limited at the end all right, so I, I I keep I always forget I always try to put my faith into the Buhan, but that dude cannot one shot. Like, and honestly, it's crazy because I even accounted for him not one shotting this yellow Super Saiyan three. 
because remember that the cell does attack before the boot tanks too, right? So he has the super attack, getting buffed by the super attack, getting buffed by the super baby too, and he's also getting the assistance from the green cell, and they couldn't take out that yellow super saiyan 3. So guess what? The yellow super saiyan 3 ate a super attack from the, the Buhan and from the boot tanks. So again, like I said, things go wrong on this stage all the time, but we're still doing great, so I guess it doesn't even matter at the end. Alright, so next is a 5th stage to the right of us. It is against a GT. This is another easy fight, honestly, where it's just smooth sailing. And I would say this is another pretty easy team formation to make right here, right? There's three purples, um, there's not even any blues right here, so we're going to go ahead and put our greens on to backup. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for the Kid Goku first, and then I'm going to go for the green Super 17. Usually I don't do that because he eats a blast card, but I think it is valuable to go after him on the second slot, and then we'll go for the yellow one making leaving all the purples for the end right and then we'll start off with the kid goku this 17 and then the hellfighter 17 at the end I, I would say that went pretty well except for the fact that it's all of them started jumping the ever living hell out of a purple buhan bro like he just was taking every single hit in existence uh 6.6 .6 million i would say this is still a pretty good outcome next is straight above us it is our 20th win streak bonus and i know some of you might be upset about this but we're landing on a three-fifths tile for this one i mean if you want to land on this you can but this is this this stage right here is going to be a pain in the butt all right so this is the team formation we're going to use right here i'm going to keep my greens on backup right so uh, pr both of my purples are going to be getting healed by the super baby 2 slot this guy's getting the key resource speed tile that way he can go ahead and just super attack right off rip maybe just get a one shot off and so this guy's at 96 percent to his super i'll let you guys know at the end of the fight if he actually gets that four percent or if it actually is just a three percent right so let's go ahead and dive in all right so for attack order i do want to get both of the yellows out of the way and then after we get those dudes let's go ahead and go for the omega the the gogeta and then we could save the purples for last right and we'll go for the trunks and then the vegeto all right so everything about that was perfect we finished that fight in literally two turns if you finish your fight in two turns like you have optimized it seven million off of that off a of three fifth stage i think that's worthwhile uh, we did get the full kill there of course and everything went according to plan all right so next is another three fifth stage straight ahead of us it is against frieza force this one it's three fifth stage so it's not gonna be the worst thing in the world there are two stuns here that we cannot avoid that's gonna suck all right so this is the team formation we're gonna be using right here there's the double yellows so we'll put both of our purples on backup right here um this guy we know he attacks before the boot tanks he has 100 percent to his super gauge and then this guy um he's just gonna be getting buffed by cell right that should be suitable enough all right so for attack order assuming that everything goes according to plan we could probably take this guy out with the cell and the buhon combination and then we can super attack this guy with boot tanks and then we can start working on the purples here starting off with the legends limited until this guy and then we'll get the yellows at the end all right so we did get super attack by that full power frieza uh, and I kind of expected it to happen. I mean 6.7 million off of the three fist is still fine with me and stuff like that But the reason why we never bring in purples to this fight is because it's always RNG Whether we do get hit by that super attack or not, right? But if you want to avoid it completely you can swap all your units over to strike base The only reason why I never take that approach is because as you can tell all of my units are pretty much blast based, right? They're all range type. So if I swap them over to strike, I'm probably going to lose like all of my damage all right, so next is to the left of us, four fifth stage. It is a this is probably the the hardest stage that we're gonna come across just because it has an ultra in it. Honestly, I don't know. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so this is the team formation we're going to be using right here. I think we're at that point. There's only a couple fights left. We can stop using the Super Baby Two. I mean, obviously, if there's like three reds on the board, I'm gonna bring in the Super Baby Two. But I think this will be good for this team formation. All right, so what I want to do here is I want to get the ultra out of the way, low key, right? Um, and then we'll get this guy remember on the start of turn three he will stun your units So that is an important figure to take out and then we'll go for the kid Buke since he does have debuffs We'll go for the boo Han this blue evil boo and then the fat boo at the end So everyone decided to jump our red boo Han right there um, If he ends up dying on your run, it's still gonna be okay 9.8 million and we did get the full kill But look at this dude look at everyone else's HP and look at his HP like that that's how you know like what went down right they all collectively decided let's go ahead and just take out one of his units I hate when that happens honestly all right next is a 5th stage to the left of us it is against or androids is more 
more accurate. All right, so this will be the team formation we use right here. There's double yellow, so we're gonna go ahead and put both of our purples aside, and we are gonna be busting out the Super Baby 2 right here, just so he can go ahead and get some heals onto our Red Buon. Hopefully he does not die here. Um, we're also gonna hide him in the little corner down here. We do have Cell buffing up the Revival Gohan and buffing up this boot haunt or the boot tanks that way this guy can attack first and foremost with the buffed up super attack so attack order let's get the red out of the way and then the green will go for the blue purple and then we'll take out the yellows at the end all right so that time around no one laid a finger on our red buhan so he's gonna get a good amount of, he got 10 million points off of that too he is going to probably live until the end of the season thank god they didn't jump this man but everyone else obviously is looking in peak condition all right, so next is a forfeit stage to the left of us. It is, again, well, shallots right there. It's it's going to go down pretty easily. All right, so this is the team formation we are going to be using right here. Um, we're going to put both of our greens on backup just because of the multiple purples. Bootanks will, or Buhan will still be getting the support from Super Baby 2 as in the heals. And then we're also going to be putting Bootanks on this special move tile, getting buffed by this cell as well. That way he can get double damage on his uh, super attack. All right, so for attack order, let's go for the Saiyan in red, Nappa, Zaha, Shallot, and then we'll go for the purples at the end, starting with the Vegeta into his wife. All right, I would say that went pretty good. Buhan is still alive and kicking it somehow, some way, right? Thank God. Uh, 11 million points off that, to be expected, right? We start, we need the points right here at this point in time. We did get the full kill. Buhan is still pretty low, but he does have a super attack. If he gets that super attack off before he dies, I'll be more than happy. All right, so now for the final fight, going straight above us, four fist stage against all cells. All right, so this is going to be our final team formation. Both of our greens on backup, multiple purples, right? We do have a key resource to be tile, so we can get the jump with the Bootank super attack. He's going to be getting the support from the Super Baby 2. And then we also have this guy with the super attack coming out. This guy possibly gets his super attack, hopefully, before he dies. He's at 31% HP, but still getting the heals from Super Baby 2. I think this is the move. All right, so for attack order, I think we go for the transforming cell first, and then the cell junior. We go for the green cell, the yellow cell junior, and then we go for the purples. Remember, I do like going for the suicide cell last because he does give out debuffs upon reaching a certain threshold in HP. All right, so we did get the full kill. No rush needed. I'm expecting a good chunk of points right here. 15 million, I will take that. that that's actually pretty typical, right? I think we have gotten like 18 million in the past. But we did get the full kill. This Buhan miraculously lived all the way to the end. So no deaths. Wow. I'm actually very happy with this run. Especially since I do I do consider us taking the very like easy path this season, right? So obviously because of us taking like this very easy path, we did miss out on some points. Usually we're like in the 110 million, 115 million. This time we're only breaking 104. So let's see where that leaves us onto the leaderboard. And I do like looking at the number one player right here so number one is going to cyber kind of cyber squad it's like three of his units are cyber squad then he has the tn so a lot of z tier units on here right and then he has the the zenkai super saiyan 3 goku who we still have to review i don't necessarily know the extents of his power yeah i'm pretty sure that is basil and then lavender and then zaha on there four hills i'm assuming as for our ranking, we are sitting at rank 2,970. So this is actually pretty, I think this is like one of the lowest rankings that we got, but that's still more than enough to guarantee that 1,000 juicy CC. I promise you guys, we're going to be okay. We are taking that 1,000 CC home with this one. Let me know if you like this format a little bit more where I'm taking the easier fights or if you liked it prior to it, where I'm taking a little bit more difficult fights in exchange for more points, right? Because I feel like this is a lot safer and it's gonna give you, it's gonna guarantee a lot more players that 1000 CC, which is the primary goal of each season. So let me know, did you guys rank higher than me? Did you guys rank lower than me? All that good stuff. Any general questions you had about the season, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.